And now for our next speaker, he's speaking from the presentation Mastery Pathway, which is Know Your Sense of Humor. His speech is titled, Slippery Secrets of Success. If you can say that fast seven times, you might get a quarter. <laughs> anyway, here with Slippery Secrets of su Success, five to seven minutes, is Martin Kent. Please help me welcome him. Success. Unless you're a complete slacker, or you've retired entirely from the rat race, most people are interested in it. But how do you achieve it? And what is it really? Depends upon who you ask. Mark Twain, that rascal of a literary giant and cynic, had this to say. All you need is ignorance and confidence and your success is assured. <laughs> what public figure does that remind you? <laughs> Confucius, the great Chinese philosopher, said, choose a job you love, and you'll never work a day in your life. Mm -hmm. Is that really true? No. I can't imagine who's going to pay me to drink beer all day and say puppy videos. <laughs> so that seems like an exaggeration. <clears throat> Others might suggest trust in the Lord and you'll never be without. Consider this story. Every week for a year, my cheapskate friend Ralphie prayed to win the lottery. After a year, he said, Lord, why have you forsaken me? Then a booming voice said, Ralphie, buy a ticket. <laughs> Please, I'm going to run out of time. Keep your laughter. Success that varies from individual to individual or situation. Behind every successful student or athlete is a deactivated Instagram account. <laughs> you have to hunt for the secrets. At graduation, if you're looking for tips on success, good luck. Invariably, somebody will look out at the sea of people, students out there, rows and rows of kids, all dressed identically in the cap and the gown, and say, one of the tips here, individuality. <laughs> huh? Or sell a lot of something. Trojan Brands is one of the most successful condom companies ever. But I think it's a stupid idea for a company. You're preventing future customers. <laughs> <laughs> now here's a smart strategy. A salesman selling security systems, say that five times fast, door to door found great success. If nobody was home, he would just leave the brochure on the kitchen table. <laughs> but success doesn't always last. Sue had a successful candle shop in Coronado. Then one day she closed down, burnt out. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bill poured everything into his plumbing business. Now it's down the drain. <laughs> My artist friend Cheryl used to be successful, but no more. I asked her if she had an idea how to fix it. She said, no, I'm drawing a blank. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> My neighbor Michael had a high paying job in the helium balloon business, then he quit. He said, I refuse to be spoken to in that tone. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing about success. It comes with problems. Brace yourself for jealousy resentment, and even lies. Imagine you win the biggest job in the country, president, but the loser raises hundreds of millions by claiming you lost. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Success can come at the expense of others. A barber in my neighborhood posted a sign, $5 haircuts. The next day, the barber across the street posted his sign, Fix your $5 haircuts here. <laughs> and don't get so hung up on success that you forget to live. A man rings his boss and says, I 
I can't work today. My wife and I are having a baby. The boy says, okay. I think I didn't do it right. <laughs> okay. The next day, the man returns to work. The boss says, well, is it a boy or a girl? The man says, I don't know. Hopefully, I'll tell you in nine months. <laughs> and if you don't find success, consider what Drew Carey says. Oh, you hate your job? Oh, well, why did you say so? There's a support group for that. It's called everybody. <laughs> and they meet at the bar, of course. <clears throat> Some technical advice. Not a good idea to tell your parents about your failures when they're on the elevator because it would cause them to be disappointed on so many levels. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and as for me, my ex-wife thought I was a complete failure. Then I invented an invisibility cloak. Because she could always see me now. <laughs> and if everything works out and you do a good job in the game of life, just remember the most diabolical way somebody can acknowledge your success, identity theft. You've won. <laughs> Finally, we've all heard the expression that success has many fathers failure is an orphan. To illustrate, let me tell you a story about four people named everybody, somebody, anybody, and nobody. There was an important job to be done and everybody was asked to do it. Everybody was sure somebody would do it. Anybody could have done it, but nobody did it. <laughs> Somebody got angry about that because it was everybody's job. Everybody thought anybody could do it, but nobody realized that everybody wouldn't do it. <laughs> it turned out that everybody blamed somebody when nobody did but what anybody could have done. <laughs> so let that be a lesson to you. I hope my slippery secrets of success, again, say that five times fast, we're helpful. Yay. And if not, don't come looking at, looking at me. I'll be at the bar drinking a beer, watching puppy videos on Instagram. Okay.